tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey everybody, this is Craig from Workspring. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Desktop Server, the server press software for WordPress, to clone a site from a staging environment and then push it to a live environment using the direct deploy method of Desktop Server. So, I'm going to put up a graphic to explain what this does, but essentially what it does is when you're working in a staging environment, and we have one here that's live, what you'll see here is this is our domain here, uh, bhccml.orgspringu.org. This is a staging site, and um, we also have a live site, and this is our live site, bowerhillchurch.org. So just show you what the staging site looks like. You'll see here what we'll call site A. It's a fully developed site, and we have site B where we want to have the live site. And right now we just have WordPress installed. And one of the plugins we have installed is the ServerPress plugin, which will allow us to do the direct deploy. Now, before we do that, we have to back up the site, install it local into ServerPress, and then let ServerPress do the direct deploy for us. So, ServerPress will accept many different types of backups and archives. Uh, and what we have here is Backup Buddy. And this works with ServerPress. So, what we're going to do is run a full and complete backup. And this is going to go ahead and run for us. And it's going to give us a quick summary of what's going on in terms of plugins, directories, tables, posts, things like that. Now, this site is unpacked. This site is about 1.25 gigabytes in size, which is, is pretty big. Uh, so when it packs it up and zips it, Backup Buddy will compress that uh, quite a bit. So we'll see something that should be significantly less than 1.25 gigabytes in size. And then once that's done, we'll just download that Backup Buddy folder, and we will use that as the install archive for Desktop Server. So we'll just let this run for just a moment, and once that's done, we'll be able to download it and get it rolling on Desktop Server. So you'll see here the backup ended up being just under a gig in size, 800 megabytes almost. And what we'll do is we will download that file to our computer. So we'll just click download and you'll see that start downloading there. And that will take a few moments to download that whole thing. And what we will do is just go back to our backups and wait while that downloads. Now, while that's downloading, we're going to fire up desktop server. So we will come to the desktop server and you'll see the open screen here. We will say yes, restart with privileges. And it's going to ask us to log in. And we do that. And this is basically starting uh, the server on our site. We're going to start the Apache MySQL services, enable trace and debug. Uh, we do this when we debug sites, although technically we won't need it right now. We'll just leave it selected. It's going to start the web and database services. You'll notice this is the normal desktop server login screen. It tells us that it's done. So click next. Now, once we get to this point, it's giving us the ability to do a few different things here. We can start or stop uh, or restart the web and database services. We can remove, copy, or move an existing website, create a new development website, uh, create or edit subdomain aliases, export, import, or share website. And what we want to do is we want to import a website and we're going to be importing from our backup archive so we'll choose this option and then we'll choose next and eventually we're going to export or deploy a WordPress website but first we need to import from an existing WordPress website archive now it brings us to the setup screen and we're going to name our site here so let's just give it we'll name it the same as what we had before and it's telling us it's going to place it there and then we want to import the file and we're going to click this file and you'll notice now it's it's not nearly done downloading yet but when it is we will use this file as the import file here so for now we're just going to uh, take a pause on the video while this continues downloading and once it's done downloading we'll restart and walk you through the rest of this process Okay, so the file is finished downloading, so we'll click this button here, and we will navigate over to where that is. I believe I put it on the desktop. And 
Maybe it's in downloads. There it is right there. That's the one we want. We will click open. And we've got all the information filled in. We will click next and desktop to server is going to tell us that it's going to create the source folder, the hosts file, and basically that goes into the host file and names it correctly so that it works. And we'll let that run for a few moments. Now again, this was a pretty large file, so this may take a few minutes. Uh, the backup took from Backup Buddy took only a minute or two. Downloading it took five or six minutes, and then this is actually unpacking it and creating a new WordPress website with it. So it could take a few more minutes as well. So we're going to pause the video again, and we'll come back as soon as this is done running. Okay, so it's telling us that it is all done, and it's telling us what the site is. And I'm not going to click on this now, but uh, we are going to just remove desktop server for the moment. Just push that away. And if you'll remember, here was the original site, the bhccml.orgspringu.org. And then I'm going to open up a new tab, and we will see what it looks like on the local development environment, bhccml.dev. And we'll let that load. And you'll see it's an exact copy. And this is loading up directly from our server, desktop server. It's a dev site and it is an exact copy of the site. So now we have this locally, and what we want to do is we want to push it up to this site. This is where we want it to be live, at BowerHillChurch.org. And you'll see this is just a, a simple WordPress installation. So I'll go over to the dashboard so I could show you a little bit more here. There's just a few plugins that we're running. Uh, pretty simple site. We basically install the desktop server plugin so that we can do the direct deploy. So what we will do is we will come back to desktop server and now we're going to export the site and we want to do a direct deploy. So export or deploy a WordPress website and we'll click next and we want to go from the one that we just added, the bhccml.dev and we want to export that as bowerhillchurch.org and we're not going to export a website archive we're going to direct deploy and the second we do that it's asking us to enter our WordPress credentials so we're gonna plug those in here and these are the WordPress credentials for the new site we'll click OK it's going to obtain the server information now remember this desktop server for WordPress plugin must be installed on the end site where we want it to be live and that's how this is working if it is not you'll get an error if it is it says hey we found it and then you're able to move forward by clicking the next button now uh, you have the options to turn off search engine visibility right here it's telling us to encourage search engine visibility which is what we want uh, we will purge post and page revisions from the old site and then you could also do some customized scrubbing options you could change names of the, how it's going to uh, change URLs and links in the database but what you will find is desktop server does a very good job of doing that so we're just going to click on these first two options here encourage search engine visibility and purge post and page revisions and we will click next now what desktop server does is in the background when it um, scrubs the database it takes links from the old site which was the bhccml.orgspringu.org that was just a staging site we used on a demo server it takes those links and it converts them over to the new name which is www.bowerhillchurch.org so all of the instances in the database it goes through and scrubs those out and replaces those old links with the new links and that way, if you have any links inside of your posts or your pages, any kind of text links, things like that, it will work correctly when it transfers over to the new site, which we'll show you in just a moment. Now, what you'll notice here is it's transferring files to the server. Now, this was a large site. This is 1.25 gigabytes in size, so this could take some time. You'll see here uh, you have the progress bar, and obviously it's moving fairly slowly because it's such a big site. So we're going to take a pause again, and we're going to let this upload. And a site this size, uh, it would not surprise me if it took uh, about 15 minutes or so to do a direct deploy. So we'll make note of the time now. We're starting at 4.32 p.m., as you see up here in my status bar. And we'll pause it, and when it's done, we'll come back, and I'll tell you what the time elapse was. 
Okay, so you'll notice that the file uploading has been done and now it's going through and processing the database files. You see here the time is 4.50, so it actually took 18 minutes to upload that. Uh, so 18 minutes to upload the site. Obviously, that's going to be dependent upon your upload speed for your ISP and also the speed of your server. And then it's going to go off and process the database files. And we have seven databases here, obviously, that it's working on processing. So you will notice that it will go through each of these. And we'll wait just a few moments for that to finish up. Now you'll notice you get a message here, finish deploying, click next to continue. And we'll click next and it'll tell us that your website's ready. Please be sure to test it thoroughly. And we will then go and test this exact domain. So we'll do that now. And you'll notice here that it says, it gives you a little note, you might need to update your permalinks or HT access file for your website. And it tells you how to do that. Uh, we will finish up here and then we will go on the front end and test it. Now, if you remember, this was our dev environment. This is what it looked like, bhccml.dev. And now we'll just open up a new window and we will uh, load up the clone site. So I'm just going to open up a new tab and I will type in bowerhillchurch.org. And there you see an exact copy of the exact website. So here we have the dev site and here we have the live site and we can test it out so for example we have blogs and media this is uh, all different blog articles so let's just click here and test this out and you'll notice the article pops up just fine you'll also see that this was a link to an old newsletter which would have been contained here so if we pull up the same one here let's go to blogs and media now we're back on the dev site now and if we pull up the newsletter, you'll notice here that this is an internal link. This is internal to the text, the copy of this particular post. And you'll notice if I look at this, if I hover over this, you'll see in the status bar on the bottom left that it's with the bhccml.dev domain. Or if we just load up that newsletter, you'll see that this is in the uploads content. This was a link inside that post and it handles it beautifully here. It scrubs the database and changes all instances of that old .dev address and pops it over to the new uh, cloned address. So this is the live site and it looks like it's working perfectly. So that's how you do a direct deploy with desktop server to clone a site from an existing site, pull it into your desktop server installation and then push it to a live installation out there on the web. This is a great scenario if you need to clone a site from a client or from some place where you didn't already have it existing on your development environment like in the example we just showed you which was a staging site pushing it to live this is now a live site so uh, if you have any questions you can put them in the comments section of the video or on the blog post where this video lives as well and we'll try to answer them uh, as many as we can so thanks for watching